Hi guys, welcome back to Rick and Eric Vlogs. So today's going to be a little bit of a mixture between a setup video and a vlog. Also, before we start this off, I just want to say this. The computer video is coming up very soon. I got about half the shots done. The computer's all built, but I just need to finish recording the other second half of the video. So that's going to be coming soon. And I do want to apologize really quick. Rick and I haven't been vlogging for a while. That's because we haven't been seeing each other as much. So like I said, in one of the vlogs a while ago, if we don't record or upload for a while, it's just because we don't spend as much time together because we have school and we're busy. But for today, what we are doing is I just came back home with Brooke. Brooke's over there. You want to pop in? <laughs> so Brooke's right there. I got the new iPhone 10. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up because if you guys remember from one of the previ previous vlogs, we're going to hopefully get Brooke on this phone, which is the iPhone 7 Plus, and I'm going to get me on this iPhone 10. One of the most satisfying things I love about unboxings is when there's always a little tab. So that way you can just pull it and then hear it. You can't say that's not satisfying. That's one of the greatest sounds ever. I've seen the iPhone 10 before twice in hand and once at the Apple store, but this will really be my first time. I ended up getting the 256 gigabyte one in white. As soon as I open the box, there is a design by Apple in California in white, and then some product stuff like hello, and then your traditional Apple stickers. And then immediately you got the phone. I'm actually gonna put that to the side for now. And then you have the wall port, your headphones, not the AirPods, although I wish. And then your lightning cable. Then outside of that, nothing else. It doesn't come out. We put these to the side and bring back the phone. Here's the phone, the iPhone 10, 256 gigabyte in white. I'm so excited. I really wanted to get this when it first came out, but it's just the situations I was put in, it just wasn't worth it. Whether it was availability or having to wait in line, which I didn't want to do or things like that. And then my phone bill, the way it lined up, it just was wrong. But now I'm going to go ahead and take off this, which yet will make another satisfying sound. And then now we're going to go ahead and get this booted up. So we're greeted by the Apple logo. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can change the perspective really quick on the camera. Okay, so right now, Brooke's in charge of the camera. We're greeted by the traditional hello stuff. So we're going to go ahead and move that over. This is just such a beautiful phone. It's amazing. It's taking a while for the internet to start up or for it to join the internet. Turns out I put in the wrong password, so I'm going <laughs> to fix that. Okay, now we're set. Right now, we're just prompted by this. Now we are greeted by this. Hopefully it'll focus. Probably not. Basically it's just saying it's activating my iPhone. It's going to take a little while. I'm currently trying to get a hold of my uncle so that way I can sign in because he is the main account holder on my Verizon line and right now I'm struggling. Okay, so he didn't answer. What we're going to have to do now is just skip the activation for now so we can get onto the home screen at least. This is actually just a huge mess right now. It's prompting for me to connect my iPhone to my computer with iTunes and I turned on my computer and it turns out that the that the laptop's dying. So now we're gonna have to troubleshoot. Hopefully my uncle will just call me back so that way I can get the information I need. Oh he's calling! Oh. Okay. Hello? I just got off the phone with my uncle, but now that I have the information I need, I still need to set up iTunes because it's probably not going to show since it's a very bright screen. It's basically asking me to set up iTunes on my computer. So now I am doing that right now, which I also don't know why it's not doing that. I just realized I was shooting right now in manual mode, so that's why you couldn't see the screen at all. But now we should be good. So if you look over here, it's processing the request. I got the information I need to put in because over here on my iPhone 10, it's asking me to connect to iTunes. So I'm getting Eric 7 Plus, his old phone. So I had to pay half of it off, and then I'm getting his phone. But my phone is the 6S, and it's just old now because there's like 10, iPhone 10, which Eric has. So. I don't know. I just want his old phone. We got to start it up, so now I have to set up Face ID. So hopefully this goes very well. Oh, uh, okay. Right here, we got to get this set up. So I'll be back. Now we are about to back up my phone. Hopefully this goes well. It's really not going great. I thought this would go by very smoothly. This is turns out to just be a troubleshooting video. Ooh, how much time? Please be like less than an hour. Less than half an hour. It's still estimating. So about 70 hours has passed and it's still estimating. Okay, this is the total lie. It's been like 10 seconds, but it's taking a while just to estimate it. And 
If you guys can't already tell, I'm a highly impatient person. Two very boring minutes later. It's legitimately been about two minutes. It's still estimating the time. I figured while it's loading, I could show you guys a quick comparison between the 7 Plus and the 10. Obviously, the iPhone 10 has smaller bezels than the iPhone 7 Plus. I'll show it how it looks with like the screen on and stuff. So yeah, smaller bezels. And then the camera, vertically placed now. It actually fits smaller than the iPhone 7 Plus. See, so I have it completely behind it. And then I got the white option, of course. But yeah, front is still black, so that's very great. But yeah, I'm just like really excited to go ahead and get this and then give this phone to Brooke because this is not looking well. <laughs> but hey, look, three different generations iPhone, 6S, 7 Plus, 10. Right now, I just took out Brooke's SIM card slot and then I took out mine. So we're gonna see if it works if I stick hers in my phone. We should be good, okay. So it's kind of the moment of truth, seeing if it will recognize over here. Currently right now, my phone just finished backing up and now it's updating. I don't know if it's updating to the latest iOS version or what it's doing, but right now it's doing something. And we just tried to play around and switch the SIM cards in, but it's not working because apparently you need to like call Metro PCS. We need to make some phone calls before you do that. But I figured we shouldn't get too hasty, so we're just gonna wait for this to be done. That way we're not doing two things at once. Yeah. Hey, we're yeah. good. Okay, now I just need to get this started. Right now, the new plan of action is for me to switch SIM cards from my 7 Plus to the iPhone 10, and then we're gonna switch her 6S to my 7 Plus. So, I'm kind of dumb, because apparently my iPhone 10 came with a SIM card, and I didn't need to switch it at all. So, it's already all set up now. I tested it out with a FaceTime and a phone call, and it all works. So, I guess now we're just gonna go ahead and try to get Brooke over there set up for her switch. Upgrade my phone. You said upgrading your phone, right? Yes. Let's try this a different way. Say, make a payment or press one. Troubleshooting tips or press two. Okay, give me a couple of seconds. And the only thing that you need to do right now is transfer your SIM card to this phone, okay? Okay. Guys, it worked. It says Metro PCS up on top and this is my phone. So now, Brooke's almost at. We're just waiting on the phone call from her. The woman that I'm talking to is so nice. Like, you don't understand. I thought it was gonna be like this ghetto person, but it's not. Hi. Hi, Brooke. Right now, um, let me ask you, right now that I called to your number, it, it was ringing the new device? Yeah. Okay, Brooke, so in this case, uh, well, just let me re uh, recap the information and the text and the data can take 30 minutes. So right now, my phone is all set up. I'm just waiting for things to download, just like my apps, but basically I'm all set to go. And then right now, we are clearing my old iPhone 7 Plus, so that way Brooke can go ahead and sign in on her iCloud. But the SIM card is now working. Okay, so everything's good now. We're just backing everything up on my phone. Actually, hold on, we haven't done the official thing. So this is my phone, so I'm gonna say goodbye to it, so. Goodbye, iPhone. Here, Rick. It's yours now. Now it's hers. <laughs> so now she has the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 6S while well, I'm here with my iPhone 10. I think we're gonna wrap up the video here. So once again, like I said, I have my iPhone 10 all set up now. So I just have to wait for everything to update, you know, with all of the apps that I have. And then Brooke currently is just backing up my phone slash her phone now. But I did manage to find all the original stuff. So inside my old iPhone 7 Plus box, I have the headphones, the charger, and even the little adapter for the headphone jack. She's all good to go, and I'm all good to go. I feel like that was a lot more complicated than it had to be because we were just so impatient. But anyways. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey!